Hello everyone, today we'll be showing you how to create our Marieforger dedicated server on your machine or on or on Windows 10 dedicated server. This works both way on Windows 10, 11 or Windows uh, 2019 or 16 server. So first you have to log in to your Steam or you have to find another way if there is any alternative way to copy those uh, those uh, tools the one that we need actually is arma reforger server which will download the dedicated server files in order for you to start uh, your server so you could copy those if you have them somewhere else uh, and you have to go to the local files of those uh, of the server you have to go to the local files once you go there, there's two files that you have to create, server.json and start.bat. First, uh, let me show you how to create server.json. Uh, it's basically you go to new and make sure that file name extension is checked in order to see the uh, file types here, like it's showing. So let me show you if, how it doesn't look. Okay, so if you disable it, only the name will show but you have to activate it you go here and you, you click new and you click new text time document for example for you it will be server.json but since i already have one there's no need so i will not be doing it and you once you create it you can create it open it with normal notepad from here or you could open it with the notepad plus plus it's your choice now once we create once we create this file it will be empty it will be like that of course uh, i'll have the link for the for those two uh, resources from uh, bohemia interactive it's their uh, wiki so there is server hosting here so you need to come here and copy those files copy those and paste them right here and you need to edit them based up on your uh, on your preferences so you could keep this uh, if you want i will go over them you could keep this for the first time it will automatically generate an id for the dedicated server and you could choose either us or eu based up on your uh what do you was your region uh, so game host bind address this is for client connection i usually put this as my uh, public ip address uh, this one is used for internal backend that's what it says here in uh, in the documentation of uh, of uh, bohemia interactive so it's for backend registration i just keep it as if the public address and same for the ports i guess this one is uh, if there's uh, was more than one server and you have to map it so if there's multiple dedicated servers you have to map it for the local uh, access uh, you don't have to do that uh, if you have a dedicated server in a data center or something so also uh, you could set up your admin password admin password this one is used when you log in to the uh, when you log in to to the server inside the game you could go and type hashtag login and you could uh, type the password mode master and then after you type this you will be logged into the server as an admin now uh, we go to the game properties uh, you could uh, name the server as you want uh, this is your preference if you want to have a password you could include it here here you have scenario id which is the mission that you want to play so uh, the mission that you want to play there is a couple of options that bohemia interactive has provided let me show you so you have this page start the par parameters i will i will make sure to include them both of their links in the description down below so uh, coming to the scenario ids so there's currently a couple of scenarios that you could use you can cycle between them till now uh, because they mentioned it here i guess uh, i've read it here somewhere there is still no functionality to cycle between the maps 
till now. So there's three official scenarios and there's workshop mission files also. Uh, official scenarios, you just have to copy this here and take it. Here is the tutorial, here's the campaign, here's the e master, like game master, uh, previously known as uh, Zeus. And here you have uh, some workshop files. Uh, it's the capture and hold, hold and capture uh, mod. But first you have to load the mod to the server. And in order to do that, uh, you have to copy the add-ons from somewhere, which can be found in documents. You have first to actually load the game and download it from inside the workshop. It's not like we use the Norma 3. You have to launch the game and you have to uh, download it from the workshop. And the way you find it is you go to documents, my games, and you go to Armor Reforger, which is your personal profile, and you could find it here. Um, let me show you actually my file. So you go to my my games, Armor Reforger, and you go to add-ons. It should, it should be there. So once I have downloaded those, those stuff, you, uh, you could go to server data, which is this, edit with notepad. And inside this file, there will be a couple of options. Uh, you have to copy the ID, this one, the ID, the version, and you could choose from here which file that you want to play in. So for, I want to play this map, this map, or this map. Each one of those are different mission. So um, now let's go back to our file. Once we, you get those add-ons from here, from our Forgeon add-ons, you have to copy the whole file, copy, copy it. And after you copy it, you have to go to your server location back to our server you have to go to uh, my games documents my games and go to armory forger server and you have to create add-on file here like i did in here and then you could paste your file in here Th that's the the file that we we have just copied and downloaded from the workshop so uh you have to do that uh, because otherwise the server won't start because there's actually no uh, the, the files that you're requesting are not there. Back to our server files in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Armory Forger server. Here's the server JSON. So for the scenario ID, you could copy from the file that I uh, told you to copy from, which you could choose from there which mission. Here you could uh, specify how many uh, players are there how many how much do you want uh, for example how much is the limit 64 it depends on your resources available in the server and here o2 joinable this one is recommended uh, by uh, by bohemia interactive if you look up the wiki it says that you, it's recommended to keep it true for now so here invisible if you set this one true, it will show up in the server browser. If you don't show it, if it said if you set it to false, it will not show uh, this your server between among the others in the server browser. So here, game properties, I usually leave those uh, as default, or it depends on your resources or your preference in the server. How much resources have you got? And here you could disable your third person. If you don't want people to use third person, you could disable it from here. And fast validation, I keep those uh, as default and battle eye if you want to use an anti-cheat. Uh, it's recommended to be true unless there's some issues when joining the server. Those ones I copied from the wiki, which, um, which should be there mission header it depends on the mission type so you have to choose it based on your preference and for the mods if you want to load the mod since i downloaded the capture and hold mod so uh, in order to add the server usually it comes like that it's clear so you add a bracket two brackets 
and you specify the mod ID, name, and version. So the version, all of those, I uh, you can find those in uh, your uh, documents, my games, Armor Reforger, the add-on file that you copied, and you go to server data. And once you go there, you could, as I said, copy those here, ID name and version, and if you want the scenario ID. So, um, that's it for this file. If you want, you could add more uh, your mods. Don't forget to add a comma between them. If you want, you could do it like that. And then the last one, don't add a comma. Because it, if you miss it, I, it will most likely not start. The server won't, won't start. So, that's it for this file. Uh, for, and second file, we have to create a start to pad. This one is actually to start the server uh, along with the stuff that you uh, need. So let's go to back to our server. Um, here, you could edit here, edit with a notepad, same as we did with server JSON. Here, don't forget that you have to uh, specify your own directory of the server. So this one here should be the same as the one that you are using in your server. So you go to the server files as I did and you click here one time and then you select those, copy and paste it in here. That's all you need. So CD. Uh, I'll make sure also to include this file in the description below. And here you have to add this. And if you want to add logs, this will this one will launch the server. This one will log, will log everything in case of an errors. And you go to config. After you set up config, uh, you have to load the config. So you have to specify which uh, uh, where's the directory of the server JSON, that one that we have just created here. So you go, th you go, and as we said, you go and paste the directory same one as here it depends where where's the file located and then you add manually server.json or you could do it in an easier way click on the file here and copy path which will directly copy the whole path for you and here profile armory forger server i just keep it default if you want you could create your own and that's it for those two files. Now to just start the server, you're pretty much done. Just click start to a path. So after you start, we should start seeing that uh, it's preparing. So it, now it loaded uh, the map that we wanted, CIH military base, capture and hold. Terrain is loading now. It should be working now. So now game successful has created. You could uh, go in and join. So let me show you. I will go in and join Armory Forger. I will show you that it's successfully I've created. By the way, you have to make sure 100% that the specified UDP ports are open for the public. So you could Google that. We have to go multiplayer. And I just have to search for my one, my server, AG4K, the one I created. And here we go. That's it here. Popping, no issues. And that's it. And here I want to show you also the workshop. You can download mods from here. The one that we need actually is called Capture. Capture and hold this one. You have to download it, and it will show it will show in your directory, uh, in the documents file. So uh, that's it. Also, don't forget to uh, open ports. Game ports two thousand one. You have to open it in order to show, and this one is for Steam ports from fifty thousand to sixty five thousand, and. 17 777 you have to uh, open also this port and the way you could do it uh, is uh, based up on your uh, type of router 
or on your type of, uh, if you're using a dedicated server hosted in a data center, you probably won't need it. Uh, but first you have to make sure that your ISP allows you to open uh, a port and then it would be very easy to open a port using your, uh, your home router. And that's it. Thank you very much for listening.